What is going on guys and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and go over how to transfer your Hive OS from a USB flash drive to a solid state drive. Uh, based off of everything in the documentation on Hive OS's website, they highly recommend that you do not run on a USB drive due to some rewrite errors that can occur. And they recommend that you dedicate a solid state drive, um, if not a traditional hard drive. Based off the fact of how cheap solid state drives are now, it is a worthy investment. So let's go ahead and run over what we're gonna do first, and then we'll actually show you guys what we're doing. So um, pretty much what they recommend that you do is that you boot into um, Hive OS, and um, once you do that, bring the console up. They also recommend that you have a solid state drive for all intents and purposes, that's what we're gonna use, plugged into a SATA port, and that you do have uh, a SATA power provided to that drive. Uh, once you do that, you're going to go ahead and uh, there is a command that they provide, fdisk-l. So you're going to do this right at the home screen, uh, not at the minor screen. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up this example here. And let's go through this and then we'll do it on our own on, our, on the computer. So this is going to say, this is going to show us a, a little bit of different information. Um, so let's go ahead and go through that real quick. So right here is where it's traditionally going to say uh, the information that is in your USB drive. Um, it is kind of what we're seeing here. So if we go ahead and read down here, let's look at the example. Disk dev SDA a one one or 111. Judging by the size, it's the solid state drive. So it it has told us right here that it found that disk, um, that it is available to us, um, which is great. Um, then what it's going ahead and telling us here, and it's saying that the 14.4 gigabyte is the flash drive. So if we go ahead, we can see that breakdown there. So it's split between the two, solid state drive and the partitions that are on it and then the USB drive um, that we currently would be using, um, which is a good example. So it says, transfer the image of the flash drive using this command. So here's the command here. So a few things to look at here. First off, it is saying uh, in this situation, dev SDB. So dev SDB is what it wants us to take. So there's two different ones here, SDA and SDB. So we, what this command is saying is saying, come from, at, copy everything at SDB, which is our USB drive, and transfer it over to SDA, which is our solid state drive right here. Uh, and then it does have some triggers in here as well as progress. So you can see the command, it breaks it down. The, the if, the IF here is this is the device from which we will transfer our flash drive. OF, it, this is the device where to transfer it, which is a solid state. And then BS is the block uh, that is transferred, um, which is helpful there. And then the count as well. Uh, and then it says, after this process is over, you can boot Hive OS from the solid state drive. Don't forget, take out the flash drive. So we're gonna go ahead and swap over to our lovely camera. And we're gonna do this process right here, uh, live for you guys uh, to see how we make out if we're successful or if we fail. So let's go ahead and jump over. Alrighty, so before we jump over there, let's go ahead and shut the sucker down first. So we're going to go ahead, power, and shut down. Now let's go ahead and jump over to our camera. Alrighty, so we just went ahead and powered the sucker down. All the fans are down. Screen is off. So let's come down here. We're going to unplug our GPU power supply, unplug our ATX power supply. Um, and then we do have this lovely cheap, but does the trick. Uh, it's an L5 Lite, 120 gigabyte solid state drive. We're gonna go ahead and use this. How nice of them to put this in this plastic. So let's go ahead and open this and then I do need to scoot this around so I can show you guys the backside where we will have the um, solid state drive uh, connections. Alrighty, I tried to get you guys more light over here. Uh, it's not gonna look pretty, it's a mining rig. <laughs> but uh, we have our uh, SSD drive. Um, we're gonna plug directly into the motherboard and then into our ATX power supply. Um, so let's go ahead and plug them in. You know, you think you'd give yourself more room to work uh, when you're doing these types of things. But no, you know, you kind of make do with what you got. All right, so we got that plugged in. We got that plugged in. We're just gonna tuck this back behind here. Not too worried about it. As I said, doesn't need to look pretty, but does need to do the job. Um, and uh, that's what's important. All right, let's go ahead and swap over to the screen. All right, so we are back on the computer here. We're gonna go ahead and bring up, nope, didn't mean to click that. We're gonna go ahead and bring up the Hive shell um, and log in there. And then we're gonna run that fdisk-l command uh, that we discussed in the very beginning. Um, so let's give this a second. 
takes a second for this to go ahead through. It's also booting in the background. It looks like it just started. I'm looking at the monitor now. Just started mining. Alrighty, so Shell is ready for us. Let's go ahead and boot that up. Okay, perfect. So at this screen, we are going to type in F disk minus L. Okay. Um, let's see what we have here. So it is showing us the, it is showing us the USB drive. Let's look here. Yes, it's showing us the USB drive, but it is not showing us um, our uh, solid state drive. Sorry, brain fart there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and check my connections and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. We finally got this working. Um, so what we had to do was, is because it was a brand new solid state drive, uh, I actually had to plug it into my Windows machine, go into disk management and um, set, the, set it online uh, on my Windows machine. Um, and uh, then I had to go ahead and make it a GPT. And uh, finally, I formatted it um, uh, with uh, XFAT. And I just had a feeling, you know, based off of what I was reading here. And uh, as you can see, now let's dive into it. So based off our instructions, the I'm just reading them off to the side. I have them on a second screen here. Um, so SDA is, if we look on our SDA, I'm um, just reading through here. SDA is our solid state drive. SDB is our... Uh, let's see here, SDA, SDB is the USB drive. So we wanna go from SDB and go to SDA. So the command uh, is, and I wonder if I can copy this. Can I copy this from, I have the page up in front of me right now, copy. Does it let you copy here? Paste from browser, paste into box. Oh, I can. Okay, so let's let's give it a try, see what happens. Okay, all right, we got a copy going. Heck yeah, guys. See, we can troubleshoot stuff. Okay, and before it breaks. Um, all right, so it is copying right now. Um, and it says, after the process is over, you can boot Hive OS from the solid state drive. Perfect. Um, so we'll do a shutdown and we'll pull out the USB drive uh, before uh, by, uh, before the, the post is done. So... Um, I'm seeing it transfer. How do we know how much longer it is? We have see how many bytes we see what's transferred. Is any of these numbers going down? No, they're not. Um, so we'll give it a sec here. I don't know how long it's going to take. Is it? I mean, it's not that big, right? <laughs> um, I mean, I guess if I go up, let's look here. We can kind of look on space here. It's about seven gigs. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back as soon as this is done. Alrighty, so it's not quite done yet. We're at, you know, 4.7, 4.8. Uh, wanted to let you guys know, you know, um, the solid state drive that I plugged in, I was just thinking about this while I was waiting. I plugged it into the computer um, and I went ahead and, and, and formatted it and everything. Not everyone has that readily available to them. So I'm going to try to do some research and see if there is a HiveOS command to run before the one that we did in order to wipe that drive. Um, I mean, I guess you kind of want to know what drive it is, so you do have to do the fdisk-l, but there's probably a command, and I don't I don't know now, but there probably is. If you expected a YouTube video that is like perfectly polished, that shows you how to do everything and never runs into issues, that isn't that doesn't exist. A lot of these guys just literally like do it beforehand and then are like, ta-da. Well, that's not how we do it here. You guys are watching live as we figure this out. That being said, if I find a command that does that, I'll put it in the description below because I think that's valuable, especially for me in the future. I'd rather just put a solid state drive in, run a command that formats it properly, and then run this command because this is simple. It's literally two commands. The, the command to, to see uh, what disk you have and then the command that does the copy and you're done. That's really easy to me. Um, I know there's people out there that, and I'll have to look at it more, that you have the ability to um, create the HiveOS ISO from the, or the HiveOS part, um, OS on the solid state from the start instead of the USB, but I'm not sure how to do that yet. 
I also, you know, with this in mind, you can kind of create these workers. Like I think a lot of these bigger YouTubers and farms out there, they just create these workers on the fly and just label the solid state drive like worker two, worker three, worker four. And then when they build a new setup, they just slap that solid state drive in. So that might be something that we do at some point is we get a handful of USB drives. I have two additional, I'm sorry, solid state drives. I have two additional drives and we use those and we just get them prepped. So if ever we build another rig, who knows when that'll be. But if ever we do, we at least have these additional workers ready to go. So right now we're at 7.7 gigs. Um, it should be done here soon because the Linux size was seven gigs. The EFI says 40, the BIOS says one, and the Microsoft basic data says 20. So what in the world is it copying here? Maybe I'm missing something. Did we do this right? Copy from SDB. Okay, I think it's done. Okay, it's done. We were good. We were just second guessing ourselves. What else is new? Okay, so now that says for us to do shutdown. Oh, we're not typing. Click in the box. Shutdown dash R space now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run over and unplug that USB drive. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. Well, we did it. Take a look. USB drive is out. Hive OS is booting. You probably can't see it, but back in there is the solid state drive, which is awesome. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm gonna keep this, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, uh, well, that was weird. I'm gonna keep this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna relabel this one, um, like worker, whatever, come up with some naming scheme or give it a name. You know, a lot of other um, YouTubers um, uh, give their rigs names. We'll give it a name. And then I'm gonna keep this. So the next worker I put together, I can just plug this in and it's worker one and we're good to go. Well, guys, we are off to the races here. We did it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to the guide that I followed directly from HiveOS. But we are now running our first open air mining rig, open frame, I guess, mining rig on a solid state drive. We have leveled up da -ding, uh, from a USB to a solid state drive. Congratulations, guys. We are winners. <laughs> uh, other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave comments down below about how this mess went. I'll see you guys next time.